What's up, punks? Jay here, and welcome to part f uh, the next episode of Persona 5 Tactica. So, yeah, it has been a while since we've touched this, uh, considering Hi-Fi Rush came out between the last two episodes. <laughs> but now that um, Hi-Fi Rush is done, best game I've played in a while, by the way, we can continue with the Persona 5 Tactica. And uh, last time I remember, uh, I think we were dealing with, like, Lady Mario, was it? Let's see what happens. I kind of want to think this is a boss, a the final boss, but from what I've been told, it might not be. Something doesn't seem right about Here this. Here I forgive you for playing around with us. We'll show you what we've got. Better get ready. If anything, I'm just gonna play it safe. I'll do my best. At least then I can get a charge going. That blocks the cover. What the? Okay, for Mario, it smells like trouble. That's blocked all the Here cover. Nice cover. I fired a large shot for guns. Please turn. no. Why you don't go anywhere near the bu the bouquets? This looks like a slow and steady wins the race or well, fight. Here I go. All right. Okay. Here come the exploding cocaine. Send them right back at her. Here I go. Uh -huh. That's it. Keep it up. Uh -huh. Dare I say the hole has a loop? Get a load of this! That's it! Keep it up! Alright! That's it! Keep it up! Quit screwing around! So that yeah yeah, you're more annoying than I am. And that means a lot. She's fixated on you around, get away from her side. So, basically Scorpion. But that's not very far. We're doing great. Better get ready. Nice position. You'll be well hidden. 
Don't move now! Those dots are right on target! Okay, Arena. I don't go overboard, though. The arena's attacked him. Maybe I should have used, um, Barbara's ultimate. I'll do my best. That won't work. Beat the other me. <laughs> now it's my turn. Persona! No. You got this down, Skull. Time Skull, my no turn. <laughs> Good going, Captain. All right. Nice cover. Fire it. <laughs> I think this is what they're getting at. Here I go. Boom! Oh, now it's my turn. <laughs> now she comes over here. We are going to do this one. Persona! All right. Okay, Arena. Don't go overboard, though. The arena's attacked it. Keep pushing us. I think we're all right. Come to my side. Slow us down. Hang in there. That's everyone hooked up now. I love this element of this fight. Well, aren't you doing better than expected? So how about next I make mincemeat out of you? Yes. Come to my side. Of course she gets the tank yes. out. Time for a bit of fun. She's confident for a reason. Don't get too I'm close ready. to her. Nice cover! He pulled my power! Makes sense if I do this, right? Turn. Show me what you got. Who to choose? <laughs> um, why do we get the feeling that's gonna one shot someone? Oh, this is bad. It's coming this way. Run! I'll do my best. Nice positioning, Noir. Persona. 
Yeah, that, that's um, that's her here. It's just that simple. Uh, what are the rocks for, though? I really don't know what the rocks mean. Not my best character. Better get ready. Take this. <laughs> nice. Keep it up. Here I go. I'll do my best. Show me There's nothing Haru and there's nothing these two can do. So. Come to my side. You. You but not that. Seriously, not. Well, oh. huh? quit dodging. I swear I will get you next time. No. Yeah, that's gotta be some loophole here. Yeah. Oh. Maria is totally blind with fury right now. So let's use our own advantage and get her to run right into her own bouquets. A bit of a loophole though here. This is basically mean that she screwed them. This is not gonna end well. Close quarters offensive. I need to not do that. Persona! 
But I do need to get, Gotta get ready. you closer to Haru. Now it's my turn. I'm ready. Meet the other man. Like that. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Oh, of course I'd do this to you. You're you. Uh, uh, Just go into the flowers, love, then you'll be happy. It's your wedding day. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do about those bouquets at the moment. Alright, we're in smartly a good situation right now. Ultimates aren't doing anything big, maybe if I had a bad character for that. Yeah, but they detonate as soon as they get in the way. Unless that's not the case. It has the logic to bring a giant fucking tank to a wedding. Oh, no. Stay there. Stay there. She's tracking Haru. I'll do my best. Yeah, um, tell me those rocks protect people. Oh, I see. Here I go. Uh, Haru's got enough health to survive, so I might as well just sack her so she can hit into that bouquet. We're getting there. It's not doing any damage. Oh, that's bull. Damn, she's strong. If only we could stop that tank. <laughs> what stupid children! You honestly thought you stood a chance against me? I'm going to mow down every last one of you, grind you into paste, and blaster you across the walls of my reception. Get it. over it. Toshiro? Oh, Dad. What did I tell you? Toshiro's the same spineless dolt as ever. Well, he is a politician. He's too weak to do anything on his own. That's what makes me his perfect partner. Oh, Toshiro. Hope you're ready. Because here comes the bride! Now we've really got a problem. He's done. Uh-oh. 
are we gonna do about the tank? I'll do my best. I'm starting to run out of steam as well. Better get ready. Maybe we might have to use the rocks. I think Toshiro's gonna drop that bell. I get the idea. If we time this right, we can crush that terrible tank of hers. I have a good idea what's gonna happen, and I got just the editing idea I'm gonna do later on. This is our chance to turn the tide. Don't Let's lure Mari under the bell. The bell. I'll hammer out we the navigation. The rest is up now. to Toshiro. What oh, are you whispering about? You know surrender is useless now, right? No talk of surrender over here. We just finished up our plan to take you down. Don't spill it out! Are you smart mouth pig? That kind of lip on you! I'm gonna slip you first! Ooh, your true colors are showing, Mario! Go ahead! I'd like to see you try. So the key is to get her over here. Better get ready. Mm, how do I do that? <laughs> I know where the bell will fall. Can you get Mario to stop under my turn? Kinda. Okay, obviously that doesn't count. Well, she's not tracked under anyone, so I can't make her lore anywhere. I see where this is going. I know where the bell will fall. Can you get more in underneath it? Alright, let's do this. Here I go. I won't fail. Now it's my turn. Ah, 
got it. Bell, anyone? Ah, oh, good, there was no requirements. <laughs> you yeah, alright today, Mike? Everything alright? like to call karma. You weren't. Why? Why am I the one getting attacked here? The only thing I wanted was to be the wife of the Prime Minister! How can I of all people get treated this way? All I've done is taken what I'm rightfully owed. It's not fair! Why? <sighs> Mario, please. Give it up. Keep pushing yourself and you'll only get hurt. Toshiro, are you seriously going to stand there, posturing like you're on their side? Their side? You heard me. Do you really think you can just bury your own past and start playing the hero? Mm -hmm. What, what are, you are you talking, talking about? about? Oh, that's some awfully convenient amnesia you gave yourself, isn't it? You should know we're well past falling for your tricks, Marie. <laughs> Talk as tough as you like. Regardless whether or not I'm lying, you'll find out all too soon. What's she on about, Mike? Then again, this is a this is a politician, so why should I be surprised? Because I know. I know what you've done, all your crimes. Try as you might to whitewash your memory, you'll never hide it all. There's no escaping what you've done. I hope for your sake, your friends never find out. <laughs> Freaky deaky. I do believe an explanation she is needed. Vanished. I'm not picking up any small fries either. Looks like they went along with her. We never finished them off. It must be different from the typical shadow. Also, unless it's too different, the real world Marie shouldn't have a mental shutdown from her shadow being destroyed. Well, I'm only speculating, so I can't be sure. Uh, we need to celebrate our victory first. We actually overthrew Marie. Oh, right. That's a good point. Uh, uh, uh. Someone's got to give the folks outside the good news. How about it, Arena? <laughs> My pleasure. Everyone, picture. listen up. We've deposed the tyrant Marie. At long last, the revolution has come. What I now hold is our banner of victory. Your dark times are now over. Rejoice in the light of freedom. Did she just? Did she just say we won? No. Isn't suffering are really over? We did it. We really did it. Hurrah for the rebel corps! Well, I'm glad 
we could hold up our end of the deal. Yes, we couldn't have asked for more. We'd have been wiped out if it weren't for you all. I'm not sure I could ever express my gratitude well enough. The rebels certainly gave it all they had out there. But we couldn't have won if you hadn't come to our world. Something feels like a fake out here. Hopefully they won't mind me speaking for them, but on behalf of the entire Rebel Corps. Thank goodness. We made it in time. We came to show our gratitude for liberating us. Thank you very much. Wait, wait, wait! The room's not gonna fit all of you! Lively atmosphere can be quite nice. <laughs> Where'd Fox go? The looks of it, he just got swallowed up by the mob. <laughs> but I gotta say, I agree with Fox. It's just a ways to deliver that line. This is the first time we've been celebrated by a crowd. Something, so this doesn't feel right yet. After leading a successful rebellion, Arena's flag of freedom has been upgraded. Yeah, right. I I had a feeling this was that man. It's a persona game. It doesn't last this long. It doesn't last this short of a run. Than I expected. Uh, I told them I'm not a phantom thief, but they kept hussing me. Oh, so sick. <laughs> All right, now that we've gotten some closure, it's probably a good time for us to head off. Indeed. Farewells are never easy, but we shouldn't pass up the opportunity to escape. It's too bad we didn't find out how this place affects the real world. Hopefully, we'll get some answers when we get back. Oh, hey! I found our ever-elusive door! Look! Over there! The more I look at it, the more it strikes me. This is like the one we saw in LeBlanc. Then, does that mean home's on the other side of this door? That's an exciting thought, isn't it? <sighs> Can I... Is it really wise for me to go back? Toshiro? I'm sorry, I just can't help but dwell on Marie's last words. Oh, you mean her rant about your crimes? <laughs> she was just trying to twist the knife one last time. That's certainly true, but if I'm truly a criminal like Marie said, perhaps taking me back with you is actually a poor idea. Hmm. Well, if you can believe it, I've been in your shoes. I had a pretty serious bout of amnesia myself. You did? Yeah. I didn't know who I was or why I existed. I couldn't remember anything. I definitely know how much it can weigh down on you. Hmm. But thanks to Joker and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to grow and move past that. And you can do the same thing too, now that you've got us. Yeah, Joker's right. Let's all head back and share a big feast together. Plus, I already told you. If you turn out rotten back home, we'll knock some sense into you, no matter how many slugs it takes. <laughs> if you need it, I could lend a hand. Well, now, I certainly hope it doesn't come to that. I've seen just what your hands can do. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I suppose I can hold my whining down until we're home. I'll tag along for now, just to make sure you're getting home safely. All right, here we go. Back to the real world. Hope you're all ready for this. 
You do the honors, Joker. This isn't going to happen the way they expected, is it? Splendor. Quite the collage. Oh, I get it. So that door we went through led to feudal Japan, right? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Uh, hello? What's going on? <laughs> I suppose this isn't the world you were talking about. No, doesn't seem like it. Our outfits haven't changed either. Wait, Arena? you off, I decided to take a peek at your wall. I had every intention of returning immediately. But then the light from the door surrounded me, and before I knew it, I was here. And now the door is gone too. I was going to be my ticket back home. Can you believe it? <laughs> You're really something, aren't you? Well, what's done is done. It's not like we have any idea what's going on either. That door was supposed to take us home, right? But somehow we've gone from a strange world resembling Europe to a town that looks right out of Bakumatsu era Japan? If there are any more inexplicable occurrences, it might fry my brain! Watch how it's done. Hello there. My name is Toshiro Kasukabe. First, we should sit down and discuss. Silence! Unless you prefer to be heading. Mm -hmm. And there you have it, folks. <laughs> what exactly do we have? Hey, Toshiro. Let's take this seriously, okay? Toshiro Kasukabe! His face! Hey! This man is a notorious criminal! Oh, sorry, what? 
Bucks? Did they just say Victoria's criminal? He's a rebel who opposes Lord Yoshiki! Save him! Went from getting married to getting arrested, huh? What the hell's going on? I'd like to know as well. Yeah. Round them up and take them all out! No! Unfortunately, it seems peace isn't an option anymore. Get ready. Here they come! So it seems like these uh, areas all reside around the Yosh Yoshiro in some way. It feels like this is going to be some kind of rival or something. I should have really seen this coming. Like the whole move into a different location thing. My fingers are ah, sick. That's not what I was intending. Watch this. Game. That was. This ain't a really functioning triangle, is it? Don't even think about it! Wipe them out! Wipe them out! There we go. Finish them off More enemies! Why now? Buggity, buggity, buggity. Let's go! Ready. I like the designs of the drum guys. Really, the only major thing I can do. Maybe I should stick with using Makoto.
One way or another, I'm gonna get hurt by this guy, so. Your health is super low! Hurry up and heal! Put them down. Oh, Alright, you won't escape! Oh, they're right in! Bugs, you're on a roll! Here I go! Rum rum, motherfucker. Wipe them out. No. That solves a few problems. Oh, apologies. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get over there, am I? Yeah, I gotta leave it. Do you know that's incredibly rude? This is my gun. Won't miss. The boss's shots have landed. Impressive. Nothing but a stain upon my soul. There's the enemy gone. Let's see it again, Rox. Well, that was good work. Why would you forgive a man? You kidding me? I can't aim for that. Come on. That that, that is just being nitpicky, though. Sorry, just um, heard some noises, that's all. So what was that about then? There they are! Go join the others! Oh, there's too many of them! How are there so many? They arrived way too quickly! Uh, at this rate, we'll never stop fighting! Everyone, this way! Huh? You must retreat for now. Please, follow me. Seize them, or they'll be held at bay! More reinforcements. Don't you think we should follow her lead? We'll do it then. I agree. I know it's frustrating, but we need to retreat for now. Take care that we're not separated. This way, follow me. 
to who is this person? Uh, we made it. I'll be safe here. Whew. We managed to lose them. Wait. Isn't this LeBlanc? We're back in LeBlanc? Who would have thought it'd be here too? Oh, are you acquainted with this place? Uh, technically we are, but <sighs> oh, finally caught up. Oh, that sprint again. Give me side cramps. Oh. Hmm? Is something wrong? Wait, wait, it's this place again? The part where we're shocked is already over, Pops. <laughs> I wonder, could our cognition have something to do with this? That's all I can think of. But it still doesn't explain what it's doing here. Uh. Hey, is your brain fried again? No, I'm all right. Well, I'm certainly baffled, but there's something vaguely familiar about this coffee shop. Perhaps even nostalgic. No, my mind must be playing tricks on me. Please, forget it. Feel free to come inside. Allow me to show you around. This way, please. The exact same way as well. It's just like LeBlanc, too. First, allow me to thank you all for saving me. My name is Yuki. Yuki. I'm the proprietress of this tea house. Forgive me if this is rude, but you don't seem to be from around here. Oh, and your manner of dress appears to have changed as well. Oh, right. I guess we should tell you about ourselves. Yes, I agree. To start off... Um, so, in other words, you come from a far-off land where you engage in phantom thievery. Thievery. And now you're looking for a way to return home. Yes, that sounds about right. Well, I should add that I'm a bit of an exception. Uh, hmm? Is something wrong? No, I just feel as though I've seen your face somewhere before. I probably shouldn't be saying this, but... I'm supposedly a wanted criminal. Perhaps you recognize me from the posters throughout town? Oh, yes, that must be it. I never thought I'd see you in person. In that case, you never know where Yoshiki's eyes may be. So for now... Please take this. Oh, it must be a disguise, right? It should be useful. <gasps> it really suits you. <laughs> She's right. Looks good on you, Pops. Yep, <laughs> totally suits you. <laughs> They'll never figure out who you are now. This is ridiculous. Half of my face is still showing. In fact, I look even more like a common thief now. A disguise is supposed to... Let's get back on topic. So, Yuki-san, we've got a question for you. Who is this Yoshiki guy? Yoshiki is the general who leads... No, who controls this country. His conduct may very well make him a dictator. Anyone who even slightly defies Yoshiki will be captured by his eyes. Before, but what eyes? They're likely surveillance cameras. I saw them in the town when we ran away. That is correct. He says he uses them for people's safety, but it's only an excuse for his surveillance. So if Lord Yoshiki isn't happy with someone, he'll have them arrested with no questions asked, huh? Yes. Could everyone gather around? Yes, Lady Yuki? Is that...? No, it's not one of the Rebel Corps, but there are similarities. They are the citizens of this country who have become victims of Yoshiki's reign. Some of us were falsely accused of crimes, and some had their families taken away. Ever since we lost our homes, Lady Yuki has kindly let us shelter here. However, it caught Yoshiki's attention, which is why his men interrogated me. Okay, I think I get the gist now. Poor citizens being exploited by a tyrannical ruler. Just like the last world. Last time, Marie ended up being your fiance. Does Yoshiki ring any bells? That's what I'm thinking. Sorry, but not at the moment. Also, there's one other thing I'd like to ask. Yuki-san, how do the people in this world feel about Yoshiki? Despite how badly everyone is treated, 
The town still appears to be somewhat peaceful. Well, that's because... Because what? What was that? That's... Everyone, look outside! Oh, 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 I'm pleased to see you all quietly gathered here. Excellent! All citizens who are righteous and happy exemplify a beautiful state of perfect harmony. That's a suit. A robot suit. Unhappy citizens are truly nothing but useless. No, injurious to this country. Now tell me, are you all happy? What the heck? This guy could do a kitchen with this guy could do a five-star kitchen single-handedly. Hey, what was that? Don't tell me that weird glow art was That's Yoshiki. He's the general who rules this country. Ah, it brings me such joy to see my citizens display their love. Today, once again, peace reigns in my country as it should. Yes, sir. Only possible because of your love, Lord Yoshiki. Ho, ho, ho. You're exactly right. Yes, this is real. Lord Yoshiki, what do you think you're doing? Can't you see Lord Yoshiki is speaking? Oh, it's quite all right. Go on and speak. Yes, sir. Well, some time ago, my family had the honor of being selected to join your labor of love. But many moons have passed and they still haven't returned. Hey! Watch your mouth! Are you objecting to Lord Yoshiki's methods? Uh, of course not! I, I would never! I, I, I just... I miss my family. Well, this simply won't do. All citizens of my country are my family. In other words, your family is my family, and I will not let you endure such sorrow. So, they can come home? Oh, I know. How about this? You may also participate in the labor of love. That way, you and your family can be together again. Isn't that nice? You really let me see my family again? Why, of course. I'll make the arrangements immediately. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Lord Yoshiki, always so compassionate. His love really is endless. Now listen carefully. Remember that my love will always watch over. I trust that yes. statement more than a hungry cat. Love, these eyes of love see all. <laughs> I did not trust that one bit. As you can see, this is the current situation in our country. On the surface, Yoshiki serves as a well meaning ruler. That surface seems to be paper thin as is. Yes. It is all merely a false pretense Yoshiki uses to serve his own ends. He claims the cameras are for safety, and that he takes people away to protect them. However, he only wants to be rid of any potential dissent that threatens his power. You mentioned something about a labor of love, but that's gotta be... It is exactly as you fear. Though he calls it love, People are actually taken to a forced labor camp. Oh. Once he takes them, most never return. <sighs> How do you know so much, Yuki-san? It's because I myself had to flee from Yoshiki's castle. After learning of Yoshiki's crooked ways, Miss Yuki took us with her and escaped. Yet, I was only able to bring a few people with me. The rest are still... Hey, but if you know the crap he's been doing, Believe him. Well, you see... Even if you spread the truth, the people think so highly of his love that they wouldn't believe you. You're exactly right. 
There's no point trying to convince them with words. They need to witness it with their own eyes. That's why all I can do for now is hide these citizens here. Oh, man. This is even more troublesome than Marie's kingdom. Ugh, he kept going on about love, but he's nothing more than a con man, huh? Don't forget about the slavery, too! Yeah, it's part of the con. <laughs> He's a dictator who exploits his people. I'll never forgive him. Right? <laughs> that obvious? Let's just say you tend to act before you think when it comes to injustice. God's I'm worried you'll charge into action all on your own. Uh, hey, I wouldn't do anything that stupid, you know. We just got here and I still haven't witnessed everything firsthand. But if it's as Yuki says and these injustices are being committed... Can't lose sight of our purpose. The goal of the Phantom Thieves is still to return to your original world, correct? Well, so in that kinda. case, I'm here to help you make that happen. We appreciate it, but you can't exactly say Yoshiki is entirely unrelated to our goal, right? What do you mean? It didn't bring us home, but the door we used to get here was in Mari's castle. Basically, because she was the ruler of that kingdom, the door was in her place. So if we follow that logic. It wouldn't be strange if there was also a door in Yoshiki's place. That's true. We don't have any leads, so it might be worth investigating. Furthermore, there's a good chance that Yoshiki is already watching us. Because of the cameras, the chances of resolving this peacefully are... near non-existent. Of course it is. Well, they weren't swayed by my peace talk. So it comes to this again. Fighting. Basically, we're saying that picking a bone with Yoshiki suits us just fine. You guys. Yes, I agree. Bring it on, Yoshiki. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. We'll only fight if we absolutely can't avoid it. And. Yeah, yeah, I know. What was ah. that? <laughs> You're too easy to read. <laughs> Excuse me. May I have a moment? Do you all intend to fight Yoshiki and the Aizen Squad? Aizen Squad? Uh, Aizen? They work for Yoshiki, and they're responsible for keeping the public order. However, all they do is control people through surveillance and violence. Which means the fight we just had was with you. Yes. They were members of the Aizen Squad. Shit. As you have seen, they'll rush in if they sense anything amiss in town. This may be a bit difficult. If we move recklessly, we'll cause a commotion like we did earlier. We'll have to do something about those cameras first. Any ideas, Futaba? Hmm. Well, if there are cameras throughout the entire town, it's unlikely there's only one surveillance site. They would need to have several places around town where they can monitor the footage from the cameras. If I can hack into the system from there, I might be able to blow up the entire network. Network system in Bakumatsu era Japan? Nope, I won't think about it. Good choice. yuki -san, do you know where these surveillance sites might be? I think so. The Aizen Squad has several bases located inside the town. So, if we're going to make a move, we need to target there first. Please wait. Do you really intend to fight the Aizen Squad? We're prepared to if we must. Oh, but we won't involve you or the citizens. <sighs> Miss Yuki, maybe they could. Yes, you're right. They could what? From what I've seen, it would appear you're all quite skilled in combat. Yes. Because of that, I would like to ask you all for a favor. Go there on. are rumors of another labor camp at the Aizen Squad base, much like the one at the castle. If the rumors are true, I'd like you to free the people imprisoned there. There's even a chance my family might be there! Please, could you lend us your strength? So that's how it is. What do you say? You didn't need to convince me. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I agree. In addition, we still owe Yuki for saving us. I'm on board too. Let's bust them all out of there in one go. Wait, really? Thank you very much. I'd like to offer my thanks as well. Of course, I will also do my best to assist you. Although you are all very skilled, the Aizen Squad has far too many members. It would be unwise to fight them head on. Then you have a plan? Yes, though it will require a bit of traveling. 
Once your preparations are finished, I can show you the way. Looks like we're gonna leave the hideout. Well, let's make sure we're prepared for anything. I'm getting dizzy from this constant turn of events. Seeing as we probably can't avoid combat moving forward, we'll want to get our forces in order. Who's the ding a ding ding? <gasps> Lavenza. May I have a moment? Is the velvet room gonna change, Mike? person's not here. Oh, the Velvet Room hasn't changed. Alright. Greetings. The place you find yourself is now a new metaverse linked to Mario's kingdom. What you're saying is... It is a second, a second kingdom. I don't know. To my knowledge... Is... <sighs> I deeply apologize. Mm, sorry. Uh, one thing you can say. Any escape from this process would defend, depend entirely on the strength of your will. <laughs> mm. I was preaching to the choir, wasn't I? Sadly, cross paths with other fiercer adversaries yet. Needless to say, I will be here to support you best I can. I did it! The reason I have called you here is to inform you of a new secret fusion rite I used just finished preparing. It can be used to strengthen the power of your personas even further. You can now fuse three or more personas as materials. All personas fused by this rite will be powerful. What shall you do? Alright. It's not going to be as exciting as Persona 5's fusion, but this sounds more exciting. You may not see it now, but soon you do you wish to perform a fusion? Special now then, fusion. Make your decision. That is a weird looking persona. Get a level 73 persona. Now then, make your decision. Which persona will you choose? White Rider. Zuten Andres. Let's go for that uh, free. Now yeah, let's go. Make your decision. Is this uh, yeah, I'll do. Please wait just a moment. I can't help but smile whenever I see that sequence. Now then, make your decision. Which persona will you choose? And we'll also get Mithra. Is this persona? One moment, please. I 
really different animations, is it? Are you finished? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like? Which persona will you choose? What would you like? Which persona will you choose? What would you like? Which persona will you? What would you like? Which persona will you choose? What would you like? Which persona will you choose? What would you like? What would you like to do? Would you I like really need to get more companion? into the idea of actually Do you wish updating to register that. A persona? Are you right. finished? That's good. Oh, I see. It is time for you to leave. I must say, the state I found the room looked quite neat. Solid first baths. Okay. <laughs> so she likes work, gives a blacksmith. <laughs> In fact, tinkering with this and that is most enjoyable. Yeah, she's like. She's like. She likes blacksmithing. Eventually, I should be able to show you a new ritual exclusive to this place. No doubt this will take some time, but I'll give you notice when it's ready. So there'll be ex exclusive things I can only do in this area. My eyes are watering. Weird. Until next time. Uh, let us save. Time to write. There. Uh, let's check the shop. I have a new weapon available. What would you like? Mm. Boom, boom, Everything sticks. good? All right, here you go. A tomahawk. Can get more gun at Tomahawk. Make sure you're well prepared. You have a good eye holding off. Thanks for your purchase. What would you like? That was called Pythagoras. We'll save again. Jot that down. Let us get to go in. Very well. Let us be off. But it's not like we're gonna go in and fight him, right? So what are we doing exactly? Uh, forgive me. I still haven't explained the details yet, have I? No, you haven't. Since we need to stop the surveillance cameras and rescue the citizens, I believe infiltration is our best option. Usually that's not a problem for us, but what about the security? The Eisen Squad makes short work of anyone who looks suspicious. However, if you're less conspicuous, then you may have a chance. Um, what do you mean? Do we just walk right in through the front door? Yes. Precisely. Disguises. Needless to say, you can't go in looking the way that you do. So, you'll slip past the security in disguises that won't arouse their suspicion. Oh, I get it. So that's where we're headed, huh? Yes, we're going to get you all fitted in some kimonos. Kimono! Hopefully, I know of a silk shop that should be willing to help us. Oh, disguises! This is kind of exciting! You bet it is! When Lady On sees me decked out like a samurai. <laughs> Sip. All right, then let's get going. Our destination is very close. Once we get to the end of the street. <gasps> Wait, stop. Please stop. I beg your forgiveness. Silence. Don't talk back to me. These guys are members of the Eisen Squad, aren't they? Yes. No, it doesn't sound like they're looking for us. That's... It's the duty of every citizen to make an offering in return for Lord Yoshiki's love. You dare refuse to pay up? It's just... The 
financial strain is becoming. Since my husband's at the labor of love, I can barely make ends meet, sir. What a sorry excuse. I'll have to teach you what happened to those who disregard your Yoshiki's love. Authority figures threatening their citizens in broad daylight. How disgusting. So it's less disgusting at night? You. Why the hell is everyone just standing around watching? Help her out! Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. Poor thing. But I guess it can't be helped. That's right. As long as we have Lord Yoshiki's love, this is only natural. How is this natural? They're clearly crossing the line! We can't let this slide! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! On my behalf as well, please help them. We're not getting out of it this time. However, due to the cameras, we need to make this quick. <laughs> Who do you think we are? Let's make short work of this, guys! annoying the fact that we're not close enough to do anything relatively worth it. To at least heal up a uh, man. Time to use my persona! You really hit me! Whip them into shit! I'll cut them down. Time to raise the curtain. I am now. I'll show no mercy. That is the best course of action. Nothing but a stain upon my soul. Got a Tommy gun. Okay, we're down one enemy! 
down. Excellent position, Fox. Time to raise the curtain. Going down. Even though that could happen. Whip them into shit. Time to get Oh, no! Yeah, just like that, Fox. You'll get no mercy. Nobody wanted to impress. Working on the Yeah, this is a rough spot, isn't it? Well, not really, because I'm not in trouble, but still. That's I'm not gonna do amazing in this, am I? Technically, we did get your revolution. It's just it's a revolution in a different area now. <sighs> it's 
It's all right now. You're not hurt, are you? Uh, who are you? I will explain more along the way, but we need to leave now. You're Lady Yuki. Huh? You two know each other? It is certainly a strange coincidence, but this lady is in fact the owner of the silk shop we're headed to. You must have your reasons for coming here. Please, follow me. The silk shop. All right, everyone. Just this way, please. Please forgive me for asking so much of you. As I said on our way here, we uh, need you Mike, if you're there, um, you might want to have a look My at pleasure. something on the general. I'll take everyone's measurements straight away. I'll start with the short gentleman over there. Come this way, please. Who are you calling short? Yeah. It's not like you all are any taller. Marina <laughs> <sighs> chan are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. It's just... This town's in really bad shape, isn't it? With the Rebel War, we rebelled against our ruler, Mariette, because we'd had enough. So it made sense that there'd be some conflict. But it's different now. Despite following Yoshiki's orders, they're still being treated like... As I mentioned, if the people have been led to believe that this is right, even more tragic than if they were just being oppressed. Right, no. Do you think the citizens really believe that they're being treated right? hard to say. Sometimes wanting to believe in something can cloud the mind's eye. But even a small spark of doubt should make it impossible to stay completely on the way. I was once that way. Fox. Me too. Forgive me for interrupting, but may I take your measurements as well? Oh, uh, okay. Um, but could I ask you a question? Huh? Yes, of course. About what just happened, and how people said it was only natural. Have you ever thought that it was even the slightest bit? My dear, all I do is run my humble silk shop. I have no complaints about my country. My only wish is to live peacefully under Lord Yoshiki's protection. What? I see. You really got arrested. However, you never know where Lord Yoshiki's eyes may be. Please listen to me as I think aloud. A world without conflict is the best. Of that, I'm certain. I would also like to believe in Lord Yoshiki. I'd like to, but... Those who are taken away never return. And those left behind suffer more and more each day. I heard from Lady Yuki that you intend to fight the Aizen Squad. If it's all true, then please, you must save them! Help us to see the truth for ourselves! Yeah, we'll bring it back no matter what it takes. Thank you for being honest with me. The truth, huh? Hey, Oracle, do you have a minute? Hmm? What's up? About those cameras around town. I, I think I know what she's planning. It'd be best to get back to work. Next up is the gentleman with the curly hair. Time for your measurements. I'm waiting for it. I know what's gonna happen. So this is how we're gonna infiltrate, huh? So tires that are fierce warriors in the battlefield fighting for their ideals. <laughs> Not bad at all. Seriously likes these clothes. I mean, it's nothing that different from what he usually wears. Huh? You're just like a samurai too? Apparently she was a little short on inventory. But I've always kind of admired this look. Let's go to that. Really? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you're looking very dignified, Lady On. Sip. Also, is it just me, or am I the odd one out? Hmm. Well, I think it's you. You look like a rice ball. Oh, really? I guess I'm in. <laughs> He's distressing everyone. This way, please. Wow. Look at that. I'm a little uneasy about this. D do I look strange? No, it looks great on you. Oh, but the Obi might be a little loose. There. Ah, um, oh. Please be a little more gentle. So this is what it's like.
like to be a geisha. Is this how you do that traditional ritual, Futaba? Yep. Now just say, please stop, my lord! And you've got it. Oh, I see. Please stop, my lord! So, did I nail it? We're all like flowers, right in the festivities of any banquet. But it can still be improved. I can further draw out your inner beauty as I... <clears throat> about my disguise? No, no, not, not at all. You look awesome, Pushkabo. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better petty thief. Quite the talent you've got there. What talent? I'm still going to end up behind bars looking like this. You don't like it? I'm sorry. I really do think it suits you quite nicely. Oh, no, it's not that. I was just hoping for something a bit more natural. Natural? Oh, then perhaps you covered your body in leaves. Uh, that's not really what I meant. It seems like Toshiro just can't win against Yuki-san, can he? Oh, what's it called? He's the type of guy who lets the woman wear the breeches. You mean pants? Oh, good lord. At least I got a good thumbnail going on. So, going back to our plan. While all of you were preparing, Yuki-san and I discussed how to proceed. I'm going to explain the entire operation, so listen carefully. Yeah, I can't really just charge in like this, so what are we gonna do? I've got it all planned. But first, hear me out. I call it Operation Double Pincer Attack Mach 2. This name's super lame too, but in a totally different way. The drug of Operation Flashy Flashy Bang Bang. Names. For this operation, will split up into two teams. The diversion team will pose as Eisen Squad members and use the front entrance. That'll be Sakamoto Kun's group as the Eisen Squad and Nijima Kun's group as the Geishas. It would be great if you could come up with an excuse to throw a banquet. If that goes according to plan, then you can ask around for info about the facility. There should probably be a control room somewhere in the building. And also a labor camp if the rumors turn out to be true. So, we'll infiltrate the Eisen squad and distract them while collecting intel, correct? Yes. And the team sneaking in through the back entrance will be Morgana Kun, Sakura Kun, myself, and Yuki san. Yuki san, too? Yes. You're doing this for our sakes. I can't simply sit by and do nothing. I know all about this town. So, I should be able to help, at least a little bit. I tried to stop her as well, but she wouldn't listen. In any case, our infiltration team will find an opening to sneak into their base. Our team's objective is to rescue the citizens and disable the cameras. Once we get into that control room, we've got this in the bag. Once we achieve our goal, we'll leave immediately. The diversion team will then also retreat. Well, that sums up the operation. Any questions? No objections from me. Excellent. In that case, let Operation Double Pincer Attack Mach 2 commence! Honestly, my only objection is to that operation name. Oh, there is one important detail I forgot to mention. This plan hinges on the assumption it will all go well, but you may very well run into trouble. If you ever feel like you're in danger, make sure to retreat. Is that clear? Uh, well, why are you looking at me? <laughs> because clearly you need to hear this the most. Need I mention your prior record? If you act recklessly again, it could endanger the success of the operation. Well, do you get it now, huh? Yeah, yeah. What? That face. What's with this attitude of yours? Ah, this is old man Kasukabe harassment. There's no such thing. That's it. Today, I'm going to speak my mind. You're... Those two seem to get along real well, don't they? <laughs> All right, everyone. We should return to my tea house for now. Yeah, it'd really help us out if we could use your place as our hideout. Infiltrating an enemy base will be very dangerous. So please use my shop to prepare yourselves as much as possible. Be sure to wear these disguises whenever you go into town as well. <laughs> Just 
Haru playing cards. Let me have a look. Uh, 10, 5. I think she's got a winning hand. I think. Time to write. It does appear that this next bit of the game will be the last bit of the stream, so. We don't have enough money to buy any more guns either, so. So this must be their base. Now that we're actually here, I'm a little nervous. Um, you're trying to pass off as Aizen squad members, right? That's the plan. Yuki gave us some sake to use as well. The idea is for us to give them the sake so we can hold a banquet. Oh, and some of these have water in them instead of sake, just in case. Don't get any ideas. All right, now let's roll. I know what they're saying now. What are we supposed to say to them? Um, ahoy? We have a search warrant? Ain't there something wrong with that? Like, seriously wrong? I don't know. Who there? Uh, uh, ahoy? We come with search warrants. Please forgive our rudeness, sir. We are Lord Yoshiki's humble servants. Lord Yoshiki's servants? Indeed, sir. We came on his behalf to express his gratitude for your daily toil. The Aizen Squad members you see here were sent to escort us. Lord, that's what this is about. I wouldn't dare disregard Lord Yoshiki's thoughtfulness. There we go. Very well. Follow me. Say, Noir, you're the best. Thanks for saving our necks. Shh. You're welcome. But let's stay in character for now, okay? Oh, Roger that. I beg of me. Forgive me. <laughs> let's just move on, shall we? The cringe, man. The cringe. Went around asking together. Agreed. Hmm. Having smaller groups may allow us to blend in and gather more information. Then let's separate into groups according to our roles. Eyes and squad and geishas. You can decide which group to join. Do whatever you think is best. It makes sense to go with the eyes and squad, right? Alright, we'll start the plan once you finish deciding. It would 
be best to come up with a different plan. Use this. Ah, I think I understand. Please excuse my friend. As you can see, he's quite drunk. I'd like to find him a place to rest for a bit. Hey! I haven't even had any... Hold on, let's have some faith. Let him cook, let him cook. I wish I could, but he tends to sleepwalk when he's drunk, you see? I hate for him to ruin the festivities he begins acting up. Best to put him somewhere isolated. I that nice. Especially Arena, you behave far differently from what I expected. Seeing that just makes me feel so restless. What do you mean? It's just, I know Arena has valid reasons for acting how she does, but her habit of obstinately rushing headfirst into things is concerning. If you don't take the time to be rational, there could be irreversible consequences. Rushing in headfirst? I see. Is it possible you envy her for being able to do that? Forgive me. You just seem to give me that impression. When I see Arena san and the others taking a stand for what they believe in, I think it's quite a wonderful sight. You must feel the same, Toshiro san. Oh, but I suppose it's not my place to say such things. I. the regular two hour limit. Let's have some fun and make this guy squeal! 
Oh, do you, you dead. I love these stills. Okay, we're gonna leave this here. We'll start off straight off with this fight. Yeah, we'll leave it here. Time to write. Now that I know I can save before fights, unlike what happened with Persona. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be it for today. So yeah, we beat Mario, but now we've got to face off against a new guy. And he's basically going to follow the same, similar Persona 5 formula of dealing with different bosses as we go along the story. Fun. But yeah, uh, that'll be it for today. Uh, if you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Yeah, but, uh, that's all for YouTube, really. Yeah, uh, next episode will be the, ne well, the next continuation of our CFE's playthrough. And now we've got our ball bearings going. And a little hint about the ship, it's ready to cast off. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.